God message at times. You may feel so worn out and stressed that you are not sure you can take another step. You may seem to spend all your time running from crisis to crisis and to be constantly giving your time and energy to others. Your Lord wants to renew your strength and enable you to enjoy the abundant life He intends for you. He is to wait upon Him to do so. Our generation does not enjoy waiting. We are harried by all the commitments we have made and the many responsibilities we hold. We rush through our lives without stopping to evaluate our activities sometimes in our haste to get on with our work. We race ahead of God. Part of God's restorative process is to slow us down and make us listen to Him as we wait on Him. God will remind us of our utter dependence upon His strength when we slow down and seek His will. He will reveal His plans. Type, I'm gentle with myself to affirm. Waiting on the Lord is never passive. It is always active waiting that requires us to cease our own pursuits and give God our complete attention. We may have to give up some of the activities we have allowed to inundate our lives. We may need to take an entire day to sit quietly before the Lord if we ask Him. God will show us the resources He has provided to help with the work we have been attempting on our own. God may address feelings of guilt that have motivated us to do things that He has not asked us to do so. Type 1313 if you have believed in the Lord. Jesus carried more responsibility than you do more people need Him than will ever need you yet. He was never overwhelmed or inadequate for the task now Christ offers to guide you so that you will fulfill your heavenly Father's will and gain the strength necessary for each day. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. God says, I realize that you are in need, hoping against hope uncertain. If I hear your prayers, unable to hear my voice and questioning my presence, but I'm asking you to maintain a confident faith that keeps you looking at me. I know that faith is not easy. But when your faith is failing, it is my word that will give you the strength to keep believing. I know it's the waiting that compounds the difficulty of faith, but it is in my delays that you will discover. I am drawing you near preparing your heart for answered prayer, teaching you to trust me to a greater degree. It isn't easy when I don't answer you in the ways you hoped. I would remember that my ways are not your ways, because I see into eternity my ways are not your better. You're just going to have to trust me on that. Type 2020 if you believe this. When you are questioning me, you must examine your heart and ask if there is anything that is separating you from me. Let nothing stand between us, for I am everything you need. I am never off my throne. I am always in control and hope. In me is what will give you immeasurably above all that you could dare hope for or imagine. Type, I embrace my power to affirm. 
God's message today, God will never be able to bless us fully until we understand that daily woes are not as weighty as eternal promises. We sometimes tend to give more weight to our problems. Pay close attention to what the psalmist says for God is our source of help, even in the midst of trouble. We all have a tendency to worry some of us more than others. We might call it concern planning or diligence when it is nonetheless just worry in the devotional passage. We are told that God is trustworthy even if mountains fall, kingdoms topple and wars rage. Know that God is exalted and he is our stronghold. If it seems more natural to worry than to trust God, that might be why the Lord warns us about it so often when facing a challenge. I have found it helpful to formulate a set plan that I will follow and then give the concern wholly to the Lord. The results are His department, not ours. Our minds should be taken up with one thing primarily. And that is the kingdom of God. This doesn't mean we lack responsibility or foresight. It means we just put them in their place, which is at the feet of the Lord. Choose today to place your trust in the unchanging Father. Type 20, 120, 1, if you are ready. Self-prayer, Lord, you are the potter and I am the clay. You know exactly what you created me to do. Help me to discover your will for my life so that I may please you and honor your name. I believe I was born for a special purpose, one that only I can do with a humble heart. I ask you to guide me. I ask you to bless all those who search to understand how they can best serve you. I pray that you would anoint them with your Holy Spirit, bless them with people who can help them along the way and encourage their steps. We need your help so that we can accomplish the very mission you want us to help each of us who seeks your will to discover and answer your call. Amen. Type 6161 if you trust God. Message today talking about the word isn't enough. We need to do what we say we believe. God will bless us if we are people of integrity as believers we need to keep our promises and do what we say. We will do look for ways to demonstrate integrity today. If you can't follow through with something you said you would do for someone, at least call or write a letter saying, Please forgive me. I was not being led by God, and I just cannot do what I said this way. You will honor God and keep your going in the right direction. Type 7171 if you needed this. God prayer today, be strong and of good courage. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Type 
yes to affirm. Every day can be a good day. God is saying to you not knowing what lies ahead tends to open the door to the near faith should slam the door on doubt and defeat the impending despair when you're filled with worry, unable to see a way out, and with no desire to go through. Remember my faithfulness. It's easy to allow your mind to wander to be overcome by the worries of the world, but I have not given you a spirit of fear. I've given you a spirit of fear. I've given you a spirit of power and love and a sound mind to rest in my promises and focus upon my faithfulness. There will be good times and bad, but I am with you through them all, sometimes to rescue you in them. Oftentimes to show you my constant presence and power in your life by taking you through them. Type, I claim it. If you receive this declaration, I will be your strength in your weakness. As I always have been my grace and power in your life, have gotten this far, and I will not leave you nor forsake you. If you're facing the unthinkable and staring into the face of the impossible, Recall how I have brought you through the unimaginable before. And know that my power has not diminished, and neither has my love for you. You have trusted me before it's time to trust me again. Type 5656 if you needed this. God message today. Many read and plead this promise without noticing the condition upon which the blessing is promised. We cannot expect heaven to be opened or blessing poured out unless we pay our dues to the Lord our God and to His cause. There would be no lack of funds for holy purposes if all professing Christians paid their fair share. There is no temporal meat for God's servants. We need not wonder if their ministry has put little food in it for our souls. When missions pine for means and the work of the Lord is hindered by an empty treasury, how can we look for a large amount of soul prosperity? What have I given of late? Let me give my Lord Jesus his tithe by helping the poor and aiding his work. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. Message for you today, God, I can't deny it. The way that sorrow catches up with me and forces me to pay attention. There is much to grieve, so much to lament in the world, in my life. In the lives of those I love you have shown me again and again. That and look sorrow in the face, take its hand and talk things over, because it shows me what I love and tells me what I don't want to lose. God! I love that you lead me into that tender space where I can see the sadness for what it is, and I can see, also, what makes me want to fight hard for what I love. We are in this together, so dance me through it. Let's find some light in this day, lead me to where I feel closer to you in my sadness and remind me that I never walk alone awaken me to the next step toward joy, so that what is a deliberate choice becomes a buoy carrying me along a river of delight. Type 333 if you have faith in the Lord. Dance with me, God shows me the pleasures and the everyday loveliness of the world you created. Reveal what delights. 
I can share, and the sadness I can ease, do it again. Lord, fill my heart with love for life and for others. That's where it starts to write where joy and sorrow meet. Type, I claim it, if you receive this. Declaration, God says, how can you know if you're one of my disciples? It's not by how one of number of identifying marks. They are defined by their hunger for my words and their growing obedience to them. They forgive people who most others could never forgive. They are empowered by the Holy Spirit, so they experience the fruit of the Spirit. They show unconditional love for even the most unlovable, but the greatest proof of their discipleship is their patient, supportive, and sacrificial love for one another child. Don't be discouraged if you struggle to experience and express that kind of love for my followers. The more intimate you become with me, the more this type of love will in your innermost being. You already know that your intimacy with Crow the Father in me grows as you obey my teachings, as you experience my love for you. You will become more and more comfortable expressing it to my other followers. You will find your love growing so much that you won't be able to contain it. It will flow out of you like streams of water. Type 333 if you have faith on Lord. God message for you tonight. Your life will be very unusual if you get through it without some tough times or problems. Trouble is simply a part of being alive. Even as a Christian, you will have difficulties as nice. As it would be accepting Christ as your Savior doesn't mean a problem. Free life. How do you handle the problems that come into your life? Praise God for your trouble. Do you depend on Him to get you through the difficult times as all your trouble a punishment from God? Of course not. Some difficulties are just the natural outcomes of life. Some problems are for learning a lesson. Regardless of why you're experiencing problems, remember that your troubles don't last forever. However, God's love and care does last forever. So even if you're going through very painful times, don't give up things will get better one day and God's grace will get you through. He will be with you step by step. One day you will know joy again and you can praise God for getting you through a difficult experience. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. Universe Message God warns you that putting your emphasis on the stuff that you can accumulate in life is a waste of time. Nothing you gather here on earth is going into eternity with you. Nothing you gather here will last. It's true that society shouts, get more. Buy more, have more. Have more, the one with the most stuff wins in the end. But society is wrong. None of that stuff has eternal value. It's self-focused and selfish to make that your focus. Type, I am ready to shine to affirm. Your life has profound meaning and purpose in the grand tapestry of creation. You are not a mere accident or coincidence you are divinely placed on this earth with a unique calling and mission. Embrace your importance and let your light shine brightly for the world. 
needs the gifts that only you can bring flee from the confines of a life driven by superficial desires and empty pursuits. Embrace the power of authenticity and let your soul guide you towards a life of purpose and fulfillment. In a world that often values conformity, dare to be true to yourself. Embrace the path less traveled for it is often the one that leads to the greatest treasures. When you listen to the whispers of your heart and align your actions with your true essence, you create a life that is rich with meaning and impact. Type a man in the comments. If you believe in times of doubt, know that you are not alone on this journey. God is with you, guiding you with love and grace. His love is unconditional and He willingly saves you, calling you to rise above your struggles and embrace the fullness of your divine potential. Remember that you are not defined by your mistakes or limitations. God's forgiveness is abundant and He sees the beauty within you. Even when you may doubt yourself when you feel overwhelmed by sadness or pain. Remember that it's okay to feel these emotions. You are human and these feelings are a natural part of your journey. However, do not allow yourself to be defined by your struggles. God's love calls you victorious, for He stands with you in every battle. Offers strength and courage to face life's challenges with unwavering faith. Your trials do not define you. They are stepping stones towards your growth and transformation in moments of uncertainty. Take a step back and reconnect with your faith. Trust in God's divine plan for your life. Even when it may be difficult to see the bigger picture just as a puzzle piece. May seem insignificant on its own. It plays a crucial role in completing the masterpiece. Your life is intricately woven into the fabric of creation and every experience you go through. Contributes to your growth and purpose. Never doubt your worth or underestimate your potential. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, and you possess the capacity to make a positive impact on the world around you. Let your actions be guided by love, compassion, and empathy by sharing your unique gifts and embracing your purpose. You can touch lives, inspire change, and contribute to the greater good. Type Amen in the comments and get blessed today. I want you to know that I am always there with you. This is something that I want you to keep in mind at all times. I want you to know that I am dedicated to being by your side. Regardless of the challenges that we face as a team, I want you to know that I am committed to being by your side. I want you to know my most treasured child, despite appearances I do. In fact, have a plan for the way in which the activities of your life will play out in the future. I want you to know that I am always thinking about how we might improve your chances of success. There is a consensus among most people that the optimal strategy is one that does not just succeed, but also persuades and is flawless in every aspect that can be imagined. A strategy that would not only provide you a cause to have hope, but would also provide you with a future that you can look forward to 
with enthusiasm and anticipation of what it contains in store for you in the future. A strategy that will not only help you stand out like a star, but will also be of value to the people who are directly surrounding you in your local region. May be considered a win-win situation. Utilizing this strategy will put you in the spotlight like a shining star. A strategy that in addition to demonstrating respect for my name, will also draw you. And I am closer together as a consequence of the greater intimacy that it promotes between us. This will bring us closer together because of the increased intimacy that it fosters between us. My young son, you do not have any reason to be very concerned about my scheme, because it will in no way, shape, or form. You do any kind of damage in any way, shape, or form. Do not let yourself be led astray into believing that the work is exceptionally difficult or complex. Do not give in to the temptation of convincing yourself that you do not deserve it or that you are not good enough to acquire it. If you do, you will only bring disappointment and regret upon yourself. If you give in to this desire, you will be sabotaging your own efforts by doing so. 444 because I hold you in the highest regard of all the members of my family. I have given this decision a great deal of thought and consideration. Before making a final decision to delegate a particular responsibility to you, this is due to the fact that I consider you to be of the utmost importance among all of the members of my family. If you believe in God type 444, you are about to gain a great lot more happiness than they have already taken from you, and that is only the beginning. Your prayers are going to be answered very fast, and the answers will come to you in a variety of various ways in this situation. A medical practitioner may be able to save your life a lawyer may be able to safeguard your life, and serving in the armed forces may provide you with a life that is reasonably quiet. However, only God can give you a life that will continue on for all of eternity. I ask that you, God, would give me the strength to endure through this difficulty and the knowledge to identify the hidden treasures and insights that are contained within it. Please grant me these things. I hope that you would do this in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you will grant me these things. In addition, I ask that you provide me the strength to continue going forward. And I hope that you will direct my thoughts, words, and acts in such a manner that I can follow the path that leads to love and peace. I pray that you will grant me these things if you have God on your side. It does not matter who else is attempting to prevent you from achieving the goals that you have set for yourself. If you have God on your side, nothing and no one else will be able to stand in the way of the blessings that God has in store for you in the future. Amen. God says, you have been patient for a significant length of time, and now it is at long last time for you to collect the advantages that you have been waiting for. Now is the time for you to receive the benefits that you have been waiting for, although it took longer than expected. It was not in any way refused. 
I'm thinking about you often and sending many good wishes your way. Raise your frequency and allow it to flow and you will soon be showered with blessings. God congratulates you that there is no longer any need to hold your breath. You will soon be in possession of an absolutely wonderful surprise. Raise your frequency and allow it to flow. Are you ready to get started? God extends his congratulations to you. There is no longer any need to hold your breath. It is going to happen to you pretty quickly at this point. If you continue to pray and trust in what God is doing in your life, you will see the changes that he is bringing about your opportunity will present itself very soon. It is going to happen to you pretty quickly at this point. There have been a number of significant advancements recently, so very many wonderful things. If you continue to pray and trust in what God is doing in your life, you will see the changes that He is bringing about to get this blessing. Simply type YES to get blessings. I will organize your steps and set you on a divine collision course with blessings, healing, favor, love, and new opportunities. The Lord said, do not give up and make sure you keep praying for, for direction as you go forward. God teaches that if you want to change, you have to accept your circumstances. No matter how hard they are, I need you to forgive yourself for what you've done, and I need you to let me carry your pain. You are the apple of my eye. You will get a lot of extra benefits and rewards when you are promoted to a job that will be given to you soon. This is because of the huge sense of joy and faith that people around you will feel because of how satisfied you will be with your new job. This is going to happen because you will experience it. Always keep an open mind and get ready to make a decision. You will suddenly be given the answers to your questions and then it will be given to you in a way that is simple and easy to understand. Get ready to be amazed at how beautiful I am. You are now going to the beginning of the next section when it's all over. You will have won and gone straight from the waiting area to the winner's circle. I love you more than words can say. And I hope you never doubt that about me. Please don't ever doubt that about me. God told us to always be quiet and humble. There is no way to tell you apart from the person sitting next to you in this room. I went to great lengths to make sure that everyone has an equal chance to make anything they want. I love you so much. God told me that I will be able to accomplish a lot with your help. The way you think gives you the huge potential you have. Now you are capable of and destined to achieve a lot, which is why you will. You are the apple of my eye. You will feel a huge amount of satisfaction in the next 12 hours. This will show up as money, love, and material wealth. You can look forward to all of these things happening. Each and every person who deals with this problem will have a good idea of how it should be seen by the end of this month. If you believe in God, watch this video all the way through to the end. My child, I understand that life can present challenges that seem insurmountable, but I want you to know that with me, 
all things are possible. You are never given more than you can handle and you are never alone on this journey. Even when it feels like the weight of the world rests upon your shoulders. Remember that I am there to help you bear the load in times of doubt. Remember, my love for you is patient and kind. It does not envy or boast love, is not proud, rude, or self-seeking. It honors others and doesn't keep a record of wrongs love, delights in truth and protects trusts, hopes and protects trusts, hopes and perseveres. My love for you encompasses all these qualities and more. It's a love that knows no bounds, a love that is unwavering and eternal tight. Amen in the comments, if you believe in God. When life's challenges threaten to overwhelm, you take refuge in my love. Let it be a source of strength and calm. Know that you are cherished beyond measure and I am here to guide you through every storm. Just as a parent holds their child in times of fear, I am here to hold you close and provide a safe haven for your heart. Remember, my child, that you are never alone in your struggles. I walk beside you ready to lend a helping hand when you face obstacles that seem insurmountable trust in my guidance. I am the light that will show you the way even when the path ahead seems dim as you navigate the complexities of life. I encourage you to hold on to faith and hope faith is the assurance of things. Hope for the conviction of things not seen, even in the face of uncertainty. Hold fast to your faith for it will guide you through the darkest of times and hope like a beacon of light will always lead you towards a brighter tomorrow. When you're weary and in need of rest, turn to me. I am the giver of rest for the weary soul. The source of peace that transcends all understanding. Lay your burdens down at my feet and find solace in my presence. I long to refresh you and renew your spirit. My child, remember that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. You are a masterpiece, intricately designed by me. Your life has profound purpose and meaning, and I am here to guide you towards fulfilling that purpose. Embrace the unique qualities that make you who you are and use them to make a positive impact in the world. In times of uncertainty turns to me as your constant anchor. I am the unchanging force that steadies you. Amidst life storms when you feel lost, remember that I am the good. Shepherd always leads you towards green pastures and still waters. It warms my heart to see you pondering over the depths of my love for you. I want you to understand the magnitude of my affection, a love, so profound that I gave my one and only son for you. This act was not just a gesture, it was a testament to the lengths I would go to ensure your salvation and eternal life. This demonstration of love mirrors the depth of my commitment to you in the same spirit of love. I implore you to extend your heart to others. Love those who are easy to love and those who might test your patience. 
Display kindness to those who yearn for it. The most, for by doing so, you become a beacon of light in a world that often wrestles with shadows. Type Amen in the comments if you believe. Pause for a moment, dear child, and allow these words settle within your heart. Permit them to guide your thoughts and actions. I desire to see my love shine through you in your words, your choices, and your interactions. You have been the recipient of my compassion. Now embrace the role of sharing it with others. Amidst a world filled with turmoil and uncertainty, your love can heal wounds men, broken spirits, and infuse hope. Where it's needed most is every act of kindness. You perform sets forth a ripple effect spreading positivity. Beyond your imagination, keep in mind, dear child, that I am your unwavering companion in this journey of love. When you feel weary or unsure, turn to me in prayer, and I will grant you strength when loving others. Present challenges ask for my guidance, and I will bestow upon you. The patience, empathy, and understanding needed to navigate through them, your faith and the love you share are forces of immense power. They hold the potential to transform lives. So healing, cultivate a world of harmony by responding with Ammon. You're not merely speaking a word. You're making the commitment to love, to spread kindness. And to be an embodiment of my love on this earth as your creator and guide your faith and love to bring me immense joy. I am always here, ready to hear your prayers, guide your steps, and embrace you in my unending love. Keep allowing your light to shine, dear child, and rest assured that your efforts create a profound impact. When faced with decisions, take a moment to connect with your inner wisdom. Trust the voice within you for it is a reflection of my guidance. Quiet your mind and listen to the whispers of your heart. You have the power to make choices that align with your highest good and lead you towards your purpose. Trust that I am guiding you on this journey and I will lead you towards paths of fulfillment and joy. Remember that you are a unique and valuable creation. Your talents, dreams, and passions are gifts that are meant to be shared with the world. Embrace your individuality and let your light shine brightly. Don't be afraid to pursue your dreams and follow your heart's desires as you embrace your true self. Who inspires others to do the same, creating a ripple effect of positivity and authenticity. Type Amen in the comments if you believe in moments of doubt. Turn to me in prayer. I am always here ready to listen and offer guidance. Your thoughts and feelings are important to me and I am eager to provide comfort and reassurance. Trust that I am working behind the scenes orchestrating events in your favor when you surrender your worries and fears to me. You create space for miracles to unfold. Why, you are never alone on this journey. I am with you every step of the way, guiding you, supporting you and showering you with love. As you navigate the twists and turns of life, Know that I am your constant companion. My love for you is unchanging and unconditional. 
Let my love be a source of strength, comfort, and inspiration as you continue to embrace each moment with an open heart. Type Amen to manifest. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more such videos.